Y'all, I'm pissed. I just did a long seven minute video about the incorrect way to come to women part two. And I don't know where it is. It's not showing up. See, that's why I'm fucked with YouTube, but whatever. Whatever. Who's paying attention? Who cares? I'm trying to find the microphone. I found it. I found it. I found it. It's right here. <laughs> I found it. Ah. Okay. So, moral of the story is. I want to know who said it was okay for dudes to come at women all types of incorrect at parties or clubs, and you know what I'm talking about. If I'm standing there, do not, public service announcement, everybody, public health announcement, actually, do not come up to me and grind your little doodads all over my butt or my thighs. I'm so sorry. Yes, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but a toot toot. I'm sick. <laughs> I hate saying that. That sounds so conceited. Sick um. Um, do not do that to me ever. That is so awkward. That is so awkward to me. That is just so incredibly, like, freakishly awkward to just come up to me all unannounced. One thing, if you kind of ask me to dance, you know what I mean? Or if I'm already dancing and, like, looking rather approachable, but I'm also bold as hell, and if I don't feel like dancing with you, I will, without another word, walk away, mid, mid, like, grind, mid twerk, I will walk away, twerk, I don't do that, actually, I can't even dance, I don't even know why I'm talking about this, if you know me, you know what I do at parties, I don't consider that dancing, but whatever, who cares, no big deal, ooh, um, I don't know, that, that topic was supposed to go a lot longer than it just did, and I'm also on YouTube, or obviously, if you wonder what I'm doing, that topic was supposed to go so much longer than it did, and I don't know where I should continue. Um, I was talking about men and women relationships, so... I guess I'll also talk about, like, what I do like in a guy. Uh, I like honesty and respect and being genuine. But above all else, I, I don't even like it. I love it. I love it. Um, I love it. Hey. Um, young Jeezy moment. Sorry. I love a man with a huge sense of humor. <laughs> I love a man with a huge sense of humor because um, I'm corny. Corny. C-O-R-N-Y. I'm corny. Um, Just had to clarify that for you all. I'm corny. And I'm just, like, not funny to me. Like, I, I mean, I'm not, it's not that I'm not funny, but, like, it's, like, so lame that it's funny. Like, I don't even know. And I like to think that that's, like, attractive to people. But to me, I love a guy who's making me laugh. If he laughs at my jokes, oh, and, and I laugh at his, like, you must be something else. Like, you, like, I love it. Like, I love a good laugh. Like, that, like, that is number one. Oh, a funny man. God damn. Anyways. I also like a man with gold. Um, I would say you don't have to be in school to have gold, but for me right now where I am in my life, you have to be in school. Um, I kind of think you're out of school, you're in the workforce, and you're an entrepreneur and you're actually doing something not one of those lame party promoters who's saying that he's doing something but he's really not doing jack shit um but for where I'm at right now I need a man who can keep up with me and who isn't intimidated and who isn't a doormat and who isn't also this like ignorant alpha male bullshit I don't fuck with but I really like a like nice guy. I'm not really into bad boys. I like if you look like your dad. But if you're really like a sweetheart, like that's all I ask. And you have to be presentable. Ooh, you know what else I like? I like tattoos. I like piercings. So if you got that, that is not a turn off for me. Like that's like a couple points in your favor. 
Um, not that you have to have those. That is not a necessity, but it's pretty cool if you do. Um, what else do I like? If you know me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, if you know me, I don't have expectations. Um, and... It's not that I don't have standards, or not that I don't have rules or anything. The only thing I expect, I don't expect you to be perfect. I don't expect you to just read my mind, because I can't read your shit. I'm just like a dude. I date like a dude. Um, I think like one, too, most of the time, kind of. People say, so people say. But I know I can't read your mind, I'm not perfect, and I cannot hold you to some standards I cannot hold to myself. So, like, let's just start with a clean slate. That's how I think. And um, it's kind of worked out pretty well. I don't expect you to be able to pay for everything. I don't expect you to have some of the luxuries that I do. Um, I have them. And my dad told me a long time ago, no man is going to treat me the way my father does. And um, a man can't provide me with some of the things my dad can. Like, I am fulfilled. I have them all. So there's nothing... I'm not saying you need to come up in here half-stepping either. I hate that. Don't come up in here half-stepping with your hands all out. Like, <laughs> no. I'm sorry. No. But, um, I don't know. Like, you shouldn't feel like you have to have all these things to, like, please me and make me happy. I'm a simple bitch. Girl. I'm a simple girl. Um, and all I want to do is laugh and be happy. And, like be fulfilled and if you are oh, you are number two in the video um and if you are fulfilling all those things or if you are somehow like you know hitting all the right spots that came out funny if you are somehow doing that then I ask for nothing else I really do I ask for nothing else like let's just see where this takes us. I also hate ending on bad terms. But some people don't know how to fuck with that. Some people don't know how to be real. That's okay. I'm real. Um, and it is not my fault that you have a complex that wasn't personal. Right? Anyways, um, this is about to be almost an eight minute long video. And I have some biology to read over, honestly. Yeesh. Um, so, and that note, I bid you all adieu, and um, I'm testing this YouTube thing out, so I hope everybody's like enjoying my videos, or who can relate, or I'm talking about something they like to hear about. Um, I'm not going to go all juicy juicy with it, if you know what I'm saying. I'm not going to get all, oh, I'm over eight minutes. Anyways, I'm not going to get all gross on my YouTube even though if you know me, you already know what the story is. Um, and I hope this video isn't quiet. I hope the microphone, I hope people don't have to turn the volume up all the way to hear my stuff. But they probably do, because I know I do. I don't know if it's a computer, or the microphone, the speaker, the computer. I don't know what the story is. But, um, it's a nice computer, it's a Toshiba. Um, I don't know, I'm rambling. This is done. I'm done. Oh, sleepy. Was that number three? Ooh. Ooh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, I'm out. I think this might be the last video. I don't know what else I want to talk about. So, on that note, toodles, bitches. I'm never doing that again. Just, just bye.